and we're live everybody the first live stream after our vacation welcome back hello how are you doing welcome back to Lionscapes um, the channel where we talk about drawing and creativity mm -hmm. and today's show is the first of our ever feedback Tuesdays mm -hmm. so we're glad that you're here there's a sound coming from I somewhere. I think it's on that uh, computer. Is it possible? Could be. All right. Mm. We just had our sound coming from the background ourselves. Um, never mind. Minor technical issue. So, how are you, everybody? Tell us where you're tuning in or from today. How have you been in the last weeks and that we haven't seen you? We're really glad if you tell us in live chat or if you leave us a comment in the comment section. Yeah, of course. We're also uh, interested if you have done any amazing sketches, uh, please share those sketches with us so we can talk about them, maybe uh, we can give you some improvements or if you just want to brag about it, you know, you can... You can always brag about it, you just yeah. send us stuff and, you know, we'll be stunned. <laughs> yeah. So, um, basically, what we do on Feedback Tuesday, for those who don't know, you send us your work and we give you our feedback, our opinions, um, maybe things we would do otherwise, or, you know, maybe we're just stunned how good it is. It also yeah. happens. Yeah. So today, if, if you know what we're doing, uh, you submitted a few sketches and we're going to give you our honest opinion uh, to, to it, right? We're going to try to give you some feedback and you're gonna draw. Yes. The I say let's dive directions. right into it. And maybe let's uh, look at who else is here while I set this up. Okay, so we have here Ruchita, Surmai, Merna. Hello, everyone. Yahya. Hey, everybody. Nice to have you here. Yeah, let us know if it's so hot. In your country, as in Berlin, uh, we came back from uh, Ljubljana, from Slovenia, where it was 30 degrees, and we came back, and it's still so warm, 30 degrees, right, here in Berlin. No, almost more, I would almost say. Almost more, yeah. Hi, Tina. Oh, hey, Tina. Nice to have you here again. So, everyone who's new and everyone who's returning... Welcome, and we already have our first sketch here, mm -hmm. and um, this was submitted by someone. If you're here live, you can totally tell it's yours and um, give us some more information, but um, apparently it's his typical style done in watercolors and in a fine, uh, fine liner. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, um, the person wanted a bit of feedback on the style. Mm -hmm. So, we could, I would say actually go maybe do some corrections or suggestions to the um, to the technique but overall do you have anything maybe to say about it well first of all what is style i yeah. mean uh, when when someone wants corrections on style maybe it's nice to just to mention how do we recognize style or mm -hmm. how do we make the sketch or style a bit more juicy mm -hmm. do you have any thoughts on that first of all well, I think there is a style. Maybe I show you the person submitted actually two works and they're both, you can recognize the style. I like these crisp lines. I like mm -hmm. the um, rich colors. And um, I think it's something that could be, you know, that could be expanded on. I would say, um, yeah, with style, it's something that comes naturally when you do it a lot and it's not something you can like really plan. Um, so I would say just keep doing it um, in the way you like it and the style kind of emerges by itself. If you wanted to kind of, um, let's say, emphasize it, I would say it's nice that you have this full kind of, um, these very um, full colors, like, you know, here there's like, an area, you know, this is like one color, this is one color. I think you can even more, e expand even more on that in terms of like just working, you know, inside these lines with one color, for example, working inside a tree with one color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. All right. 
Okay. So, do you want some time limitation? Yeah, please, because I will just keep talking and uh, let's let's try to let's try to make this kind of um, you know strength. Let's try to strengthen the style. I don't know if we can make it do that, but let's let's try. So, what I said is maybe work more on coloring inside the edges, right? Mm -hmm. If you know, if this is kind of your style, try to you know, try to really do it in full. And I think, yeah, look, look at that here. You know, this is disappearing here. I think I would go all the way to the edge here as well. I mean, we could talk about the trees and, you know, how to make them. It should be a bit bigger, but I think maybe this is not the point. Sonia, do you see what is hiding in the bottom left corner? Yeah. You, you think that Two is things. what I think? Yeah, I think it could be, but it has pointy ears, so maybe it, it's a cat. So, everybody, we have it's what appears to be a case of an ominous bunny, or possibly a cat in this image. A curious cat. A curious case of the curious cat. <laughs> Something which is here, bottom left. Uh, and I like it. Let's... Uh, Let's emphasize it a bit. It's kind of hidden. It's a bit of shy. it's a bit shy, but if we if we put a color, you know, if we put <laughs> color around it, then suddenly it will stand out as a white ominous bunny, and I think it should totally do that. Yeah. So uh, Ruchita said it looks like your ominous bunny. Yes. Yeah. I think it is. Okay. One thing about the shades, um, the shadows, rather. Um, here you, we see a shadow. I think the shadows. Usually, they should be in you know, like a darker, a dark. You can. It's really good idea to just paint them with black paint, or a darker version of the background. So um, here we see some blue and brown, which is okay. But I think you could also just go in with black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I just tried to expand a bit on the style. I didn't do so much right now. Yeah, Sonia is also stopping me now, but yeah. Dear author, you can just go in and maybe paint in the lines more uh, thoroughly. So um, I think if you look at the difference now, this is the before, this is the after, boom, you could even make it more rich. Yeah, very nice. So we have here a comment. Everyone, welcome who the, uh, to those who just joined. Uh, Marcus just said something very very nice. Finally back vacation landscapes. Yes. Welcome back to your own channel. I was so close to suggest you some improvements on your shared sketch of the Slovenian sketch. Wow. Yeah. All right. We've shared some of our own sketches on Instagram and Facebook in the past two weeks. Marcus, if you have a comment, if you have a feedback for us, we'd totally be glad to hear it. Yeah. And welcome back. It's really nice to have you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what's the next one? All right, oh. next up we have a nice sketch of, oh, I think it's okay. Notre Dame, right? Cathedral, oh la la. Looks like the Notre Dame in Paris. Probably mm. is. Okay, so what do we say here? Um, well, so it's very full. Right, mm -hmm. the the page is very full. Mm -hmm. My first uh, consideration is that we need to give it some some surface to sit on. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would probably expand on the surface surrounding mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Like on the right side, you can see there are some shrubs. Yeah. Um, and on the right, on the left side, that's just missing. Uh, and somehow yeah. that gives a bit funny feeling. Yes. Then the second thing is mm -hmm. that is I noticed that this cathedral is very. Uh, it's it's like very boxy, right? I mean, it has like very certain shape. It's not organic, but it's high, it has like very clear boxy is a good um, word. Very clear lines, uh, the facade, the frontal facade, mm -hmm. and the, the the side facade. And I would make a clear distinction between the frontal facade oh, with yes. the entrance, yeah. and then the the side facade. Oh yeah, you we see it on the right side, the it's already has the the hatch but my opinion the hatch is too similar to the one in front mm -hmm. we could make even stronger contrast yeah. here it's already a pretty dark 
image in terms of uh, tone, but yeah, you're completely right. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Let's so be bold. You get a two minutes. I get two minutes. Time. You know, everybody. I used to have one minute for this, so I'm. This is complete luxury. Yeah. But then, uh, then someone. Uh, no, not someone. But Kasper complained that he needs more time and. I think a lot of a lot a lot of our viewers said that they would like us to go more in depth uh, with the with with the commentary and with the feedback and so yeah so we did. Oh, so so you didn't complain. The other other uh, viewers complained. Yeah, I never complain. You, you that's true. You never complain. I never complain. No. <laughs> okay, so what are you up to right now? So what I'm doing right now is basically what you said, the right side of the facade um, is not distinguishable from the front side. So I'm really bold and I'm just going in with complete black, which is some, which is a style I've been personally using. Right. Yeah. You're recently. discovering something new. Yeah. Recently and um, while sketching. And I like it because it gives you a strong feeling of contrast and uh, volume. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if we exaggerate that a bit, uh, here we can achieve, I think, this three-dimensionality that was uh, mm -hmm. missing, right? Yeah. Okay, and now, final touch is here on the left. We said there's something missing, so let's just add a bit of ground here. So we kind of, you know, mm -hmm. anchor it, ground it. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So, show us the before. Alright, so this is the before, before. Before, before. And this is the now. What do you think? You shouldn't be afraid um, of covering up all the details and everything you did. If you feel like you should just make it black, do it. It's better to do it than not. Because otherwise, you're going to ask yourself constantly, what if? You know? What if I have done it? Yeah, but you didn't. So you didn't learn anything. So you should do it. <laughs> totally. And learn from your mistakes. Okay, uh, let's continue. All right. And yeah, let us know if you like the sketch, the correction, or not so much. Uh, that would be interesting to see, as always. All right, let me um, pump up that contrast so we see what we are looking at. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, this came from someone on Instagram. And uh, with a question um, about technique, because these are um, watercolor pencils um, and how to improve the technique on watercolor pencils. So do we have something to say on that point? Watercolor pencils? Yeah. Um, yeah, so the best way, first of all, if you're using watercolor pencils, you should use the right paper if you want to, to mix them with water. Yeah, That's yeah. the first thing. Mm -hmm. The very obvious one, but not so obvious if you if you don't know the difference between normal color pencils and the watercolor ones mm -hmm. um, and then also how you sketch usually is just as same as normal color pencils mm -hmm. but uh, in addition to normal ones you at the end add the water mm -hmm. and with that you can mix different colors together when it dries you can still reapply the color and you can just build up the, the color. Um, again, if you're using a very rough paper, um, you can do more layers. So that's also a plus. But still, you know, you need to figure out the paper. Uh, yeah, okay, so and... But that was not the main question. I was now talking more about the technique. Uh, and the question was how can the person improve the the usage of col watercolor pencils yeah i think on a, in an example of this so i would give a, a few general um, comments on this mm -hmm. sketch. okay so first of all i think if you use watercolor pencils or pencils in general you should t um, you should be careful in which direction your texture goes in hatch like for example here you have it in this direction and then here it disappears or rather you you start doing these waves I think you should continue with these waves all the way to the under the bridge because this is how we then recognize, ah, okay, this is water. 
and if you think this part should be darker here because it's like in in the it's a shadow cast by the bridge then you use a different kind um, you know we go over with black but I would go in the same direction in the same mm. stroke direction yeah. than the rest of the water this will make the water look uniform and um, and kind of more realistic mm -hmm. um, yep um, apart from that we could give some comments to the uh, to the sketch as well sure all right um, what I would do here is okay another general <laughs> thing but I think it's worth saying about it um, you know the rule of thirds if you say your focal point is uh, is this bridge maybe or this umbrella then what we're missing is a bit of the sketch on the left so you know we would want to see it here we want to see some this bit maybe it is continuing but we're not seeing it but by expanding the sketch to the left basically uh, we make these umbrellas and everything stand on the third on the bottom on the intersection of the of the horizontal and vertical third uh, bottom left and this makes it more harmonious and then you could take this umbrella and maybe you know make make it more highlighted and visible does that make sense do you understand what we're saying about the rule of thirds mm -hmm. tell us I if, do <laughs> tell us if if it was uh, if it was of any help okay Nice. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Mm -hmm. A nice architecture sketch. Mm. With uh, red ink. Yep. By the way, we wanted to say something. By the end of this video, we also have an interesting announcement to make. So stick around and uh, we're really excited to share some news with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very excited. Very excited. Okay. You don't so, sound so excited. Very well, excited. I'm a bit shy. Oh. Yeah. I'm a bit shy, that's why. Okay, so, um, yeah. Beautiful. Do we maybe know the location of this place? I think it's in India. Yeah. Yeah. That's not apparent, but yeah. Somehow. Yeah, the style could be India or some of the neighboring countries, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's that type of architecture, I would say. Mm -hmm. So the question was, how do I finish this sketch? If at all. If at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a good point. Like, maybe the sketch is already finished. If mm -hmm. I would add something, it would be just a little bit of detail to draw attention to a certain part of the sketch. How about that? Yeah. What would you... Um Emphasize. Well, I think I would maybe add more detail to one of these doors mm -hmm. to em to you know attract more attention mm -hmm. to it, and um, that would be it. Maybe you know do some lines here at the sides. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, so my suggestion w would be yeah. to finish finish the the left side just like in a cube way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we have at least you see the upper. Mm -hmm. Mm, upper floor? Upper floor, yeah. You see the upper floor? Level, yeah, upper level. Upper level, which is finished. And then you have the lower one, which is missing a window or an entrance, entrance point, a gate, or, yeah, just the, the door. And I would add the door and just finish the line so that it looks finished, that, that you have two, two floors which are on the same side that are finished. I would emphasize this line here, which divides, because this part is so heavy, I would emphasize it here, so that it would sit a bit better. Um, and maybe just extend some lines on the right side, so that you get the feeling it's not like a fence or something abstract, um, that it's something that's, that's also um, continuing on the on the right side. All right, that's a lot of a lot of things I have to do. <laughs> I'll do it. So emphasizing this, um, I'm just coloring this these in. You know these small thingies on the yeah. top of the of the of the wall. And 
because it's all already all red, the only way to make it darker, is then it make it stand out more, is to like completely color mm -hmm. it in red. Okay, so um, Tina sa suggested uh, asked, would it work if shadows were more condensed? Yeah, I I was thinking about that, but it would work, I think. But I think the image, um, I think. If we're staying in this sketchy level, if we were like, condensing the shadows, I think we would lose a lot of uh, like a this lightness of the sketch, right? Like a bit thicker or less transparent hedge. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, uh, it it would be one. It would be one possibility. I just uh, I think this one with adding detail here on the lower third again, you know, okay. to draw attention was kind of better. Sonia, Sonia, you're making sounds. What is it? It's just a throat singing sound. <laughs> <laughs> so what? No, I I think it's it's good. I I would not add much more. I would just, for example, emphasize. You know that you get had the feeling. I would stop adding the textures and the details, but maybe focus just more on the outline. Maybe add this line or just one that's um that's that's moving away from uh, from us on the right side or something. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we did. Yeah. Let's. It's not always that we're like, you know, that we agree on something. Yeah. Um, but but I agree. Uh, Fred said the clouds are beautiful. The clouds and are amazing. I agree. The clouds agree. are really good. I like the birds yeah. as well. Okay, so this is the before. Yeah. And this is what we added. Yeah. Um, I think we added too much. Let me let me we erase. We added too much. Let me erase. You know, I'll just be honest with you. Let me erase something. I think the focus of the details should be yeah. where uh, I was putting it. And I would erase some of this. So here. Tina said, also maybe a more defined horizon. Yeah, could be. Let's let's do it. All right, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. In. Okay, I think that's better now. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this was the before and this is the after. Drawing more attention to this um, lower third, I think, works quite well. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. What do you think? How much did we mess it up? All right. We didn't because you can always delete it. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> wow, we have another watercolor painting. Oh, is it a watercolor? Yeah, I think so. Mm hmm all right, a nice sunset with a um, lighthouse. Mm -hmm. So, your opinions on it? Okay, so um, composition-wise, I think it's it's quite okay. Yeah. Because uh, the the lighthouse on the right side gives a certain frame. It all also guides uh, the the viewer's eye in a certain way directly to the to the boat and yeah. to the sun which is very present in form and also in color i have like these three elements that work well together in the composition i yeah. think yeah um there there's just something that i'm not sure so sure how can i how can i um read it mm -hmm. and that's the thing that usually the 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 ocean line mm -hmm. is also the hor horizon line mm -hmm. And if you see how high the the uh, the tower is, mm -hmm. our object, you can see that it's much too low. Yeah, the, or maybe the boat, e either the boat is too big or the tower is too small. Yeah, yeah. one of those, th those things. I think you're completely right. I think this is a, it's a perspective thing. What Sonia is talking about is, um, you know, the horizon line, this line, is also your eye height, right? So this is where your eyes as a viewer actually are. So you're hovering basically somewhere in the middle of this scene. And um, this boat feels t way too big uh, to be in that distance, to be that close to the horizon, right? Yeah. 
Um, well, I think there, I, I was also thinking maybe we're looking on, on this, uh, this tower and this view from above, you know, maybe we're on the cliff and we're looking down. Yeah. But then the, the, the architecture as an object should be drawn differently, right? You would see more, mm -hmm. um, the part that you just corrected, yeah. you would see the opposite side, mm -hmm. not the curve, mm -hmm. like a set sm face, mm -hmm. but, but it would be like a smiley face mm -hmm. curve. Also one thing, the sun is huge. The sun is pretty, is pretty huge, yeah. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try reducing the, uh, no, I, I drew on the original layer, never good. In Photoshop, if you draw on, a, on the wrong layer or on the original image, you cannot like delete it. Okay, now we're good. Let's, okay, let's try to, let's try to change this. So. But you are now on the original layer. Yeah, I have to, I have to make the sun and the boat smaller. So the sun would be even smaller, actually, you know, the sun is actually, we tend to draw the sun really big, right, you know, because we imagine it, you know, uh, this uh, Lion King, ah, oh, the when hey, you know what we're talking about. Hey, <laughs> this opening scene of the Lion King, the sun is huge on the African horizon, but actually the sun is usually pretty small. Yeah, that's true. So let's kind of paint this in here. Gently paint it with the brush. Gently paint it. Gently <laughs> paint it. Is this like some Bob Ross thing? Or? No, it sounds more, more of a, you know, the Netflix series uh, of the birds. Ah, okay, Dave, David Attenborough? Yeah. Yeah, the, you know what we're talking about? David Attenborough, the British, like, wildlife documentary commentator? Yeah. Just All right. Add a few lines around the sun. Right. All right. No, this was wrong. No, no. no. All right. So, boom. Sun. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Now let's make the boat smaller. <laughs> um. Sorry, Bobby. I think yeah. This is better. I think the boat should be should be smaller. This looks more realistic. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I like the use of colors here. Mm -hmm. It's nice color mixing, actually, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so, too. Um, also, Fred asked, what about increased depth? How to, how to increase depth in this no, one? What if we would increase the feeling of depth? Oh, yeah, well... I'm not sure. Was that, that like... A a joke, a funny, funny question, because we're always talking about the feeling of death, huh? huh? Or are you, uh, are you... Is it a serious question? Or okay. is it a serious question? Always yeah. assume the viewers are very serious. So. Yes, because our, our followers, uh, our viewers are very serious people. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. It's serious in a good way. It was totally inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what are you doing now? I'm increasing the feeling of depth. I'm adding the first layer, so this is what is kind of missing, I think, here in this image. It's like a, a layer up front. So if we have something uh, going on here up front, I think, I think you know, we would uh, we'd actually um, have a a much stronger feeling of of depth. Yeah. Maybe it's also a time. No, I would. I, I just wanted to suggest a, a, an omnius bunny, but I think may in I this situation maybe not. Maybe like a curious cat. No, something. this is going to be an ominous shepherd. Oh, yeah. Then oh, cute. So, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Mark has said, um, imagine Gasper commenting Barbara Ross's painting in a David Attenborough style. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. We can do that once. Huh? Oh, we should we should totally comment like Bob Ross's page. Okay, good. I think this is it. Yeah. So I uh, I can only show you without the front layer. Boom. And now with the increased feeling of depth. Boom. <sighs> and you know what? I just uh, remembered. You know the ship has sailed. Here you can see the shepherd. The shepherd <laughs> was left behind. <laughs> he was left behind. Shepherd's On wife. Boat. They are the away. ships. 
His <laughs> ships are on that boat. You just can't see them. Oh, his ships are on the boat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's there, left behind. The wife left him, took all the sheep. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> That's it. Oh, yeah. well. Okay, so <laughs> before we continue with the best... Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, drawing with fits to, with the context, um, I would like to give a shout out to Louise. Thank you very much for supporting us. You are amazing. Thank you for joining us so often for our live streams and asking questions and showing your work. You are amazing and very brave and thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks Louis and everyone who you know joined us after our vacation. We really missed you. And um, Louis just supported us with a super chat donation and everyone else you can also support us by sharing this, by liking the video and yeah, generally sticking around. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, we got another oh. donation. <laughs> Michelle, thank <laughs> another you. Another thank you from Michelle. <laughs> For Michelle. Thanks a lot, yeah. Michelle. Also great to see you again. Yeah, it's so nice to be back in our community, uh, full with energy. I really missed it. Yeah, I did as well. Missed all of you. Yeah. We, I mean, we communicated by Instagram. You know, we were posting some stuff, um, some works from our vacation, and you commented it was nice to see you. Um, yeah. Okay. So, All right, so, we have uh, the, the Pumba, right? <laughs> no, it's not the Pumba, it's the Simba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> totally got me. I know. Uh, okay. Okay. So, Timon. Um, <laughs> it's Mufasa. <laughs> what was the baboon's name? I don't know. Anyways, what was the baboon's name? I don't know. Well, so we got Lana here. Um, okay. <laughs> Wait till the end. I love this cartoon when I was a kid. Yeah, Probably still I love, love it. it as well. All right. So the question was, it's particularly in this image, how to improve the line work. Mm, okay. Yeah. So do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I think you're doing a great job already. Um, so how can you improve it? First of all, you need to, I don't know what kind of pen are you using, but mm how to improve your line work is by practicing, mm -hmm. first of all. Mm -hmm. Second of all, you did a great job by starting with a pencil. Let's zoom, let's zoom in a bit so yeah. we see what's going on. Yeah. So I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I can also see com some construction lines, mm -hmm. which means that you know what you're doing. Um, construction lines are always good. It's always very, very important, especially if you're trying to achieve a certain amount of symmetry. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the faces are always hard, even if they're animal faces. Mm -hmm. um, and then, how do you continue? Well, um, you need to have a good pen or two, I would say, that's, uh, that are very dark. Um, I would, yeah, I would say a Sharpie. A Sharpie would be amazing, yeah. Like a marker. Um, yeah. I think that... Uh, but, but nothing gel-like, but more marker-like, you more know, marker, something that gets marker, yeah. absorbed into the paper and does not stick to on the paper, because if you swipe over it when you, you're trying to scan it or something, that uh, you don't damage the in, drawing. In this style of drawing, I think what you're looking for is um, really contrasting uh, surfaces and not a hatch the way you did it here. Like the ears, you know, have a hatching. Mm -hmm. So I say you would go in with a lighter gray or you would make them completely black. You know, I would say you just, you play with the thickness of the lines. I'm just starting this already. Um, right, Sonia, what do you think? Like, I think, you know, with the, one can do a lot with just using different, I, first of all, I would just erase this uh, hatching. I yeah, think. and you would do what instead? Either make it completely black or just play with the thickness of the lines, do some Yeah, I would, I would probably make it black. You would make it completely yeah. black? The yeah. thing is, if we make the ears black, I think we have to make... Did he have, like, black ears? No. No, he didn't have black ears. Because so I was like, maybe we could do, like, something like this, you know? Like, just this line. thicker lines. And yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, it's also, when you're doing the outline... Um, usually you do the shading later on, so the hatching is comes into the third step. So the first step is do the outline with a pencil, then do the outline with a sharpie, and then the third thing is, or you scan it, 
and then mm -hmm. you work on it in Photoshop or any other uh, programs, or you do it per hand and you start adding the hedging or the colors or stuff like that, right? Yes, exactly. Do it in stages and I will just try to do it on this one here because it's quite delicate work. You need to be careful to make it really smooth, right? Mm -hmm. So you go, you know, maybe over yeah. it a couple of times. You be careful where the line is thicker and, you know, where the line is inside of his ear, I would like make a, a thicker line to get have the illusion of, um, of depth in the ear. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, just Justine just wrote, uh, went to Tanzania and learned that all the names in the Lion King means something like Rafiki, means friend. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, this is amazing. Oh, Rafiki was the was the baboon, right? Yeah, yeah. Asap desa, squash banana, asap desa, squash banana. Something like that was the song, right? Squash banana? I think it was something with squash banana. Okay. Cute. So. Let's look at it. Um, this is just one example of the ear. I don't think I did a perfect job of it, but go ahead and keep that in mind. Try to do the shading and the three-dimensionality through thickness of lines. Mm. Go. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Let us continue. Wow. Ooh. This is amazing. So this is by one of our um, loyal followers uh, who always submits. Um, wow! So Suhar sent this. Amazing. And uh, yeah, it's like uh, redone. You you did a colored pencil uh, ladybug uh, painting, and he did one as well. Um, if you want, I mean, this this was one of my favorite uh, tutorials that we did. Uh, it was a live stream like three months ago. If you're interested in color pencils, then you should definitely check that one out. Um, there, there were also some works uh, posted in our Facebook group called Linescapers. Uh, you can see the the, uh, the examples and the, the sketchings there as well. Amazing, really. Um, and this is also very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's... Let's... Let's just talk Let's about talk it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I don't have actually any comments on the on the ladybug per se. Maybe we can add a bit more shine to it, you know, um, and try to to get a bit more three dimensional back. But otherwise, I would probably focus a bit more on the background, mm -hmm. add another green leaf, because I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of dark mm -hmm. space which which is not needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, this uh, drawing would be much more lively if there would be a bit more green. Imagine, imagine doing something like this. So, like, we have the focus on Ladybug here, right? Yeah. Uh, like you said, we need, I feel we need, you know, like something here, yeah. you know, maybe even like, you know, you know, you know what would have oh, a storytelling this. element? Yeah. Like maybe like this. Mm -hmm. If we had another ladybug here, Ooh. an ominous ladybug, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, it would add a bit to the storytelling and the tension in, yeah. the, in, the, in, the, in the image. Let's you, try it. You know what would be, you know, the, the cannibalistic <laughs> ladybug? The cannib oh, the, uh, yeah. the orange one? The cannibalist. They eat their own. Yeah, yeah. The one from uh, from the Asia. Asian ladybugs. Yeah, the Asian uh, ladybugs. Mm, they're dangerous. Yeah. Do you know the story? There was... Uh, the thing is that one? there were so many... What are the, the small thingies on the plants? The uh, fleas? Uh, no. Oh, the things that ladybugs eat. Yeah. Uh, what the are small they green things. You can find them on or roses black. or... Or black, they can also be black in the spring when the when the plants start to blossom and there are so a lot of sprouts and the leaves are very thin, they are calm. Maybe they're fleas, I don't know. Fleas? Could it could it be like plant fleas? No, but they are not jumping around. Maybe the community knows. Yeah, lice. What? Lice. Lies. Ushi. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, plant lice. Okay. And uh, I don't know which country and who thought about it, but I know that uh, they, of course, were trying to figure out how, how to, to get rid of the lies. So one of the suggestions was 
to get the Asian ladybug to Europe uh, to test it out if the Asian ladybug could just get rid of the, all those lies. And the thing is that, yes, it did, but it actually spread it pretty fast as well because it didn't have any natural enemies. And unfortunately enough, this uh, ladybug, the Asian version, also it's the, the native one. So um, you can also see this. It's the, 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 ah, really? Yeah, because it has this mouth part. Mm -hmm. It's like like a weapon, you know, because the, ah. the, this typical native uh, red ladybug is like a very petite and it eats like small fleas and lice and stuff like that. And, and the yeah. one, I don't know what, what the, the ladybugs, uh, the Asian ladybugs bugs eat. In addition to that, but oh, it has to um, be a red one, right? Or orange one. The let's do an orange one, yeah. The orange one would be the the, the carnivorous ladybug. Da, 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 da. We need some Mozart or something, yeah. or Beethoven. We need some Beethoven. Dun 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 dun. Da, 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 da. It's so ominous. It calls for some Beethoven. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. All right, so yeah, just to get an idea of the composition, <laughs> you need to emphasize the red mm -hmm. eyes because it's cannibalistic, right? So Suhar, you cannot probably because it's a pencil drawing. You cannot now expand on this um, because you know pencil. You really build it up layer after layer, and once it's done, it's done. But great work. And if you were to do another one, I would say yeah, think about the storytelling aspect. And this is the four, and now we have this tension with a second ladybug in the background. Yeah, the the red ladybug is sweating. It's sweating a bit. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Do we have any questions from the community? Do you have any questions? Always feel free to ask us in the comment section or in the live chat. It's um, always a pleasure to answer them, to try to answer them at least. If I forgot something and you would like to ask again, please do. Yes, we sometimes skip over, um, skip over questions. Before we go on this one, I will send out another heart. Oh, you would? I would. Okay. And I would send it out to Tina, who also donated via Super Chat. Yes. Thank you, Tina, very, very much for your support and your good energy that you bring to our live streams. Yes, we saw Tina live in Slovenia. It was so great to see you and uh, in live, I mean, in person. And we're so glad that you're here again with us on this chats, on this live streams. All right. Um, back to this Japanese lady. Oh, wow. All right, so um, looks like birthday, Stella. Um, no, sorry, I had birthday on Saturday, and my name is Sonia. So, <laughs> I, Sonia, Sonia, it was Sonia's birthday on Saturday. I like red, but I prefer orange more. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of no nah, uh, misunderstanding, but still okay. I accept. <laughs> okay. So it looks like a birthday card. I I really like it. Look Beautiful. I'm just noticing now that the lady has three cats around her. So how awesome is that? I I counted four. You, where's the fourth cat? Here, on the. It looks like a cat at least. So here's one cat. Let's count the cats. One cat, second cat, third. Oh yeah, fourth cat. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what would be uh, what would we suggest for this uh, one? I have um, more cats. <laughs> I was thinking I would do one more cat at the bottom of her, like somewhere, somewhere here. <laughs> more cats, like somewhere here. I think it would be nice. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, color-wise, we have here a mixture of blue, magenta, and red, mm -hmm. which I think. We could have a better, you know, I think I would um, replace magenta with something else, mm -hmm. I would say. Right? Let's consult the color wheel. So, this is our color wheel, the one we made um, in one of our live streams. You can totally check it out and make your own. Um, so, mm -hmm. blue, magenta, no, blue, red. I think we could do orange. 
instead, instead of, of magenta. Nice. Yeah. 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 But that would not fit with the golden belt, for example. What if we take her golden belt and all this stuff and kind of apply it here? Let's try that out. Let's try it out. Yeah. So yeah, Tina, Tina is for it's very very. Uh, I would spot magenta for something. Two dots and then orange. Oh Question yeah. mark. Awesome. Exactly. Orange. I'd say orange as well. Let's go here with the. Uh, with the different kind of brushes. Um, and with, with this kind of color, it also looks more, you know, cele cele celebrational, Ce celebratory. Cele uh, celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> it's already, f in, in this point, it's like super fun to just uh, try to invent English words for me. Yeah, we do that quite well, I think. Invent random English words. Yeah. yeah, I think all those native speakers. I'm sorry, dear native speaker viewers. Yeah, uh, if you're butchering your language. Uh, Daniel J also asked, "Where are we from?" Oh yeah, we're uh, from Slovenia. Originally from Slovenia, and now we live in Berlin. Yes, so we were also on vacation in Slovenia recently, uh, visiting friends and family and enjoying the beautiful country. Um, all right, so we've got orange now here instead of red. Let's let's go and do this cat down here. Okay, so we also have some comments, uh, but I really like, really, really like dusty pink plus cold blue combination. Oh yeah, pink and blue is good, but once you add red, you, um, you kind of... It's a no-no. So no, no, yeah, you, you you cannot use both. You cannot use pink and red with together with blue. Um, I think it doesn't work that well. I personally don't think it works well, and I think also professionally, you according think to color theory, it's uh, professionals. You don't think it works well? Did you just draw a curious cat? Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I'm just gonna move it really quick. Can't because they're. Oops. Kicks are tea. Kicks All right, so there we go. We have another cat, everybody. Also, you always need like an odd number of cats. You cannot have like an even number of cats. That totally. No, no, totally no. It's unlucky. Especially black cats, you can't. You, you, need you don't mess with with black cats. You and don't mess with even number of and, black cats. Yeah, and even number of cats. You just. <laughs> you must even have three cats. Okay, so <laughs> this is the before. I know I like pink, um, but let's see the um, how it works afterwards. Boom. Yeah. I think it's better. But okay. you be the judge of that. Can you can you show it once again? You probably just did yep. what I was in the comments. All right. Yeah. And boom! Wow. Okay. Yeah. This so is what do you very, think? Uh, celebratory. Yeah. Kind of vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the red, uh, you know, it's not in competition with magenta. So I was thinking before we go to the last one, which is an the, amazing one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We just tell a bit that uh, um, <clears throat> what we just tell a bit, a little bit of exciting news that uh, that we have, right? How about that? We can. We can. All right. Definitely. Are you ready? <laughs> so, um, we have just, we're starting, matter of fact, we're starting right after this live stream, our first session, um, because we are going to start to learn to be... Art coaches. Yes. What does that mean? So, we will still figure out what it means as well, but... In general, the bottom line is we're acquiring more and more knowledge mm. and skills to be able to help you, the artists. Yeah. I didn't have any talk prepared, so for me it's a bit uh, harder to have like a speech about it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> as you noticed, we are doing our best to communicate with you our, all our struggles, um, give you advice to different kind of topics, which are not just technique related but also fear related and also marketing related 
And during all these years, we acquired, 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 acquired mm. so much knowledge that we think we are at the point where we can really share and contribute even more. Um, so we're really excited to go on this journey. And we're taking a step into, you know, a professional step in that direction. So I think we'll be able to bring even more value and knowledge to all of you. Yeah, and we are very, very excited about it. Uh, we were thinking about it a long time. So I'm very glad that we finally found the chance and courage to do that as well. Yeah, we'll tell you more about it when we are on path, but that's just it for now. And I would say we look at the last one and then we go to our first lesson, you know, toward becoming art coaches. Yeah, well, woo. Woo. All right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So the last one, Sonia, will really uh, surprise you because it's an amazing one, sent by Michaela. Boom. <laughs> yeah, what should we do here? Um, Michaela is an amazing portrait artist and she's sent her stuff uh, here a couple of times and we're always amazed. So yeah, thanks for sharing it and um, yeah, what could we say? What is your opinion on this portrait? We've got a very warm light and reflecting of this woman's skin. We've got a nice blue background which is in contrast with the orange and then red lips you know draw our attention a lot of good stuff going on yep okay what would you add what would i add it's yeah, hard to add anything i, I mean, think the only thing i would consider is you know shin, shin, since you're playing so much with color here and did a great job of doing this complementary color pair i think her pink t-shirt pink top should be a different color Yep, I think that's what I would say. What do you think? <laughs> you know when you're left uh, a bit speechless and you just don't I mean, know what to... I mean, it is like it is this split complementary colors, color scheme. I, I don't know. I think, yeah, I would go with a different, uh, with a different um, with a different color of the t-shirt. Let's try. Let's just try. You can, you know, totally, you can totally mess it up. You have anything else? Oh, one more thing. I think, like, I like how the contrast is on the right, right side. We have this strong dark color contrasting the light color, which draws our attention to this part of the face. But here, they're almost without contrast. I think we could kind of, you know, maybe yeah. make a bit more. You know, uh, it's, it's so interesting when, when you get a like very advanced presentation of, of someone's work, then you really start to search for for things that that can be adjusted or improved. And I think it's also fine to not do a lot sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean we're always just like searching for stuff and maybe sometimes we can also say, you know, it's okay the way it is because yeah. Some parts, some work in our eyes is also good enough, you know, but every everyone's work is good enough. Sorry, that was my uh, bad expression, but, um, but, you know, sometimes you don't have to, to have uh, a lot to add. Yeah. Um, there, if you, if you're adding something, Gasper, mm -hmm. you see the shoulders. Uh, yeah. the shoulder part, I think you can maybe define the line just a bit more, you know, this one on the left side, maybe behind the, mm -hmm. behind her hand, so that it's just a bit more visible. Oh, I know yeah. that we're focusing a lot on the face, but uh, just so that it just does not disappear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Ruchita suggested maybe you could add more texture visually. And uh, and also from Rochita, one uh, <laughs> one suggestion: if the T-shirt was orange, orange-ish red, uh, I think that would be a bit too orange-red, probably, right? Um, Tina said she likes the pink color. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if. Uh... 
we messed it up or not. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think yeah, what we wanted to have here is a bit more co contrast between her hand and the, uh, the surroundings here. Let's see if we can get that going. But yeah, I mean yeah, Michaela once again awesome stuff. Um, Going to add maybe when I personally advance in portrait drawing, I can give you more feedback. But for now, um, I did a very crude job of um, <laughs> making this uh, T-shirt green. But let's see, just you know, color-wise. Let's you know, let's just have, let's just do this experiment and see where uh, where it has gotten us. Let's say a little a bit more yellow here because the light is reflecting. Yeah, kind of, I don't know, like this. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, okay, maybe here we need to. Yeah. Okay, let's see uh, if it was better with pink or with my green version. Pink, green. Again. Pink, green. Again. I'm, <laughs> I'm really curious, everybody, what do you think is better, <laughs> pink or green? But, um, I think I still like green more, but I can completely understand if you like the other one. It gives her a different character, I think. This one is more melancholic. All right. This basically concludes this. Mm -hmm. We're really glad that we had you here, and um, really glad to have you back. And we're looking forward to doing more live streams and more videos and talking to you. And yeah, send us stuff for the next Feedback Tuesday. Boom for next week. Yes. And we see you next Monday. Yeah. On our Creative Monday. Yeah. So till then, we wish you a great week. Uh, stay creative. And. You know what to do? Keep on drawing. Bye bye, bye, -bye. everybody.